what was your relationship with alcohol like before the comeback? Uh, before the comeback, um, it was just kind of like a secret thing I did in my house, drinking at home. And so I think it was more like a companion, a friend. Um, and uh, so just wasn't using it in a healthy way. Or when I go out, I wouldn't control it. And so I'd embarrass my wife, embarrass myself, and just do stupid crap, you know, at risk type stuff. Wasn't a fun experience. No, not at all. I mean, it was fun at the time, of course. Thought so. Yeah, but I mean, when you wake up, you know, and then, you know, you have to face the people that you love, like your wife, when you have to look at yourself in the mirror, um, you know, when you have kids, you want to be a good example. Uh, and even in business, you know, you can't be successful acting like a jackass, you know, if you're trying to grow a business. So, so what yeah. is the life like now after the comeback? Yeah, well, I think I've gotten a little respect back from my, my wife and with myself just being more in control and that alcohol doesn't have to own you. Um, it's not in control. Like, you know, like last night, some people asked me to go out for a drink and like, I, you have to make a decision and not just because there's alcohol there, you know, it doesn't own you. You don't have to do it. I mean, if you want to do it, you can, but, um, so I just feel a lot more in control now, you know, How about the relationship with your kid? Kids. um, I still have to keep an eye on that because they're my kids are a little older. So I've got one in college, one in the Marines. And so, you know, they talk about when they come, he comes home from deployment, like they want to get wasted, you know, and so I'm just, I feel like I'm doing more of the proper parenting, <laughs> you know, like you don't have to get wasted to celebrate you coming home. You know, there's other ways for us to do that. So I feel like I'm being more of a leader in that way. Um, and uh, of course, you know, relationship with the wife's getting a lot better. Um, when she sees me more confident that I'm going to be in control when we go out. Yeah. The business, uh, you know, that's, uh, part of, um, you know, one of the temptations for me was when I go to conferences and things and, you know, who's watching when nobody's watching. And so I just felt like I made a lot of bad choices and, um, that, you know, this, the successful people at these conferences aren't the ones that are getting drunk. You know, they're the people sipping unsweet tea at the table because they're razor focused on what they're doing. And so that's impacted me seeing that, um, I'm not going to get where I want to get in business following that. Um, because yeah, you have fun, but you know, you're not really advancing. In fact, you're burning bridges. You're probably burning business opportunities. So, what do you think is the biggest gift that the comeback has given you, but also you gave yourself by doing the comeback? Uh, the greatest gift, um, I mean, I, obviously I appreciate you and the counsel that you give and, you know, you're in, we need to be kicked in the butt. Uh, and so I do I like that, but it's a relationship with the other guys too, which has been a huge help. Um, you know, like this live event's been awesome. Um, getting, you know, relationships really make a difference when you meet people and uh, that they share the same story as you. Um, and so once you hear the same story echoed a bunch of times in, on these calls that we do, it's like, all right, I'm not that unique. Like we all kind of, and so there's a, I don't know, I wouldn't call it misery in company, <laughs> uh, but strength, more strength in, uh, yeah, strength in numbers, hearing other stories um, that we can call each other. Um, so I've had a couple of great conversations with people or just instant messaging. Um, so it's cool that know that you could reach out and that also that you get to a point where you can help other people. It's not just about being a consumer, you know, but giving back to others. So that's been awesome. Somebody on the fence, maybe you, I don't know how many times you watched the video, if it was the first time or third time, or hundred times, what would you tell them? I'd say follow what inspires you. Um, cause what I, uh, I went to an outpatient, uh, like interview, you know, and I'm not dissing that or anything, but. I left there and I wasn't inspired. And so, and there was some um, I was opposition, I guess, or resistance with family members, because it wasn't the traditional scientific type of plan, but I had to like follow what inspired me. Because if I'm not inspired, I'm not gonna do something. And you inspired me. Um, the vision that you cast was inspired me. Enough, I, you know, I didn't know where it would lead, but it was enough for me to jump. Uh, so I'm glad I did.